Namaste, my kings and queens. I thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. This will be a reading for the full moon in Leo. Okay, I'm just going to be getting the collective energy, um, what to surrender and what to be aware of, okay? Thank you all for my new subscribers. I see you. And thank you for the likes and the comments. And of course, the subscribes. The more you subscribe, the more I do upload, okay? Alright, let's see here. Energy for the collective, or energy the collective will be in during this full moon. And Leo, please. Energy the collective will be in during this full moon in Leo. Today, January 28th. Tonight. <laughs> January 28th, 2021. We have the thinking woman, okay? So a lot of you will be doing a lot of thinking, okay? I feel like a lot of reflecting will be going on, a lot of self-awareness, a lot of awareness, okay? I feel like you guys will be having some epiphanies, okay? A lot of you will be led to do a lot of reading, okay? I feel like butterflies will be significant or um, some of you love butterflies, okay? I'm getting little hair wraps, like little um, lay hair wraps are significant, all right? Some of you could be having um, dark, deep thoughts, okay? Just going off the coloring on this card. Having more energy for the collective. The collective, the the energy the collective will be in. I feel like some of you will be going on long walks. All right, we have rest and rejuvenation, and we have the second chakra here. All right. So this came out on the last energy read as well. So I feel like a lot of you will be in heavy meditation. Okay. A lot of healing, okay. This this the sacral chakra, all right. I'm getting the energy of connecting to the higher self, all right. When you're closing your eyes, you're imagining the white light. You're thinking about positive, positive things, positive thoughts, positive manifestation, positive energy, pure energy, okay. I feel like um, a lot of you will be instructing a yoga class or some type of meditation class or you're thinking about starting one, okay? I'm getting heavy emphasis on meditating outdoors, all right? Maybe around water, okay? Around trees, grounding yourself in the grass or some type of sand or just nature, Maybe some of you meditate in the shower or in the tub, or you will be. All right. We have 47, 11 here. We have 19, that's 8. We have 36, that's 9. All right. I'm getting those numbers will be very significant. We have financial constraints here. Wow, so a lot of you may be feeling financially bound at this time or in the energy of uh, feeling financially bound. Okay. Um, we have the number 13. So the number 4 can be significant or the number 13. Alright, I'm also hearing January 3rd. 
Okay, somebody could have just had a birthday. I'm also getting the very dark thoughts around money, around finances. Um, but we have the sun at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful card, beautiful energy. Okay, so for me, this is letting me know um, those of you who will be doing a lot of thinking, um, resting and rejuvenating, okay, healing your second chakra, okay, I feel like getting down to the root of things will allow you to build your faith in regards to your finances, okay, I'm hearing, um, paying attention or I'm hearing foundation, okay? Somebody's foundation is a little rocky. That's why you may not have a lot of faith right now. But with the sun card here, everything is working out for you. But you need to know that, all right? Like I said, getting outdoors, um, being in water. I'm really getting spiritual baths here, all right? Cleansing yourself in herbs, crystals, clean water. So as far as your spiritual bath, you want to make sure you shower or you bathe first and then run your spiritual bath. Okay, I'm hearing Himalayan salt. Okay. Cherry blossoms are significant. Birds are very significant. Fishes. Someone may find out they're pregnant or someone may be pregnant. All right, and you're kind of stressed out about your finances, but spirit is calling you to rest and rejuvenate. Okay, have faith. All right, probably why it's heavy emphasis on the second chakra. Some of you may be pregnant. Congratulations if you are. All right, so let's go ahead and see what you need to surrender. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to surrender during this full moon in Leo? What does the collective need to surrender, please? Surrender your desire to control people. Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay? So I feel like that's where the rest and rejuvenation is coming. All right? And as well for some of you, all right, a lot of you need to go ahead and surrender um, your desire to control people. All right? For some of you, this could be affecting your relationships, okay? Or situations that you're in could be affecting... Um, business ventures or business opportunities for you to gain financial stability, all right, because you're wanting to control the situation, but you need to back off right now and regroup, all right? Then we have surrender to procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success, all right? So for a lot of you, if you are finding yourself financially bound or having financial constraints, it's because you're procrastinate, procrastinating around an idea or an opportunity that can bring you financial success. All right. A lot of you need to jump on it. All right. Instead of putting it off. Why put off what you can do today for tomorrow? All right. Do it now. All right, and a lot of you, instead of trying to control other people, you need to be controlling your situation and making sure your situation is solid, all right, during this full moon, okay? So surrender that control, surrender procrastination at this time. Surrender obsessive thinking, all right? The thinking woman is here, all right? So if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, 
okay? Turn the dilemma over to spirit. You're doing so well. No, doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So I don't know why you're doing so well came out. Maybe some of you feel like obsessing over something or thinking about something over and over and over and over will change it. But it's surrendering to the procrastination that's going to change it. It's actually taking the necessary steps that needs to be taken that's going to change your dilemma or situation or your relationship, okay? A lot of you are just thinking with no action. Acts, faith without acts is dead, I just heard, okay? All right, and then we have surrender to low self-esteem. This keeps coming out collective. So I'm really getting the energy that a lot of you are struggling with your self-esteem. All right, you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an attention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. I'm also hearing here a lot of you need to get a bouquet of sunflowers weekly. Fresh sunflowers are very significant. These will bring you a lot of joy, a lot of peace, a lot of tranquility, okay, around your self-esteem, okay? I feel like sunflowers, sunflowers will bring a lot of you the faith and believing that you are beautiful, okay? And the more that you nourish and tend to your sunflowers, that's the same way you need to nourish and tend to yourself. And the more you do that, the more you'll see them grow, the more you'll see them brighten up, the more that you'll see them blossom. The same goes for yourself. All right. All right. So let's see. What does the collective need to be aware of during this full moon in Leo? What does the collective need to be aware of, please? We have the Three of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you could be feeling uh, very heartbroken, okay? Or you need to be aware that heartbreak may be on the horizon. Some of you already know this and you're overthinking about it. You're obsessing it. The more you obsess over it, the more you're bringing it in, all right? I'm also getting here um, betrayal, okay? I feel like some of you may be feeling disappointed in yourself. Maybe some of you let yourself down, okay? Be aware of letting yourself down, okay? We have the Six of Wands here, or the Six of Swords, I'm sorry. So, yeah, this is also, men also mental here. We're already getting a lot of air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? I'm feeling like a lot of you are self-sabotaging. Be aware of that, okay? Be aware of being in your head too much, okay? The Six of Swords also talks about moving away from a situation mentally, okay? I feel like maybe around this heartbreak, you have mentally escaped from it, but you have not physically or emotionally or spiritually let go, all right? Spiritual awakening is on the rise, okay? We have the high priestess. Yeah. So a lot of you could very well be keeping this a secret, keeping your mental health a secret. All right. Some people may not know what you're actually going through. All right. I feel like intuitively, though, you know that pretty soon you do need to surrender this obsessive thinking, surrender to this procrastination. All right. Surrender to this low self esteem during this full moon. All right, I feel like your higher self is calling you to do this as well, and you're ignoring it. All right, be aware of ignoring your intuition collective. All right, and then we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so that's compassion, that's sincerity, that is emotional stability. This is where you're on your way to. All right, this is where you want to be. Okay, she does look a little stifled on the card, a little sad, a little taken back, all right? But I feel like after doing the work collective, 
you're gonna stand tall because it's like even though she looks a bit hurt or like she just got some horrible news she's still standing tall like with her shoulders held high and her held back okay all right like she's standing firm in herself all right that's scorpio pisces cancer energy all right all right so be aware that you definitely need to be gaining um control over yourself emotionally collective during this full moon all right all right and what advice do you have for the collective during the full moon holy spirit advice for the collective please So we have an empty feeling is telling me something important. A consistent formula gives me consistent results. I say, why are they not getting what they are asking for? Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that, Collective. All right. Um, if people are not receiving what they are asking for, it can only be that the person's holding the desire it can only mean, it can only be that the persons holding the desire are out of alignment with their own request. There is no shortage. There is only, there is no lack. There is no competition for resources. There is only the allowing or the disallowing of what which one is asking for. Okay. So I feel like surrendering to your low self-esteem and overthinking and procrastination will open up the space for you to align with what you actually desire, okay? For those of you who are not receiving what you're trying to call in, all right? Like learning to understand the basics of mathematics and then having the successful experience of understanding the results of the application once you have a formula for understanding your world that is always consistent, it will yield consistent results to you. Okay? Then we have a negative feeling indicates that your current choice of thoughts is so out of harmony with your source energy, the high priestess, that you are disallowing your full connection to that energy stream. You could say that your fuel tank is approaching empty. Your emotions do not create, but they do indicate what you are currently attracting. All right. So I hope this helps collectives. I hope this brings you clarity. I hope this brings you peace. And um, I hope that you take heed. All righty. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you. Ashe.